I don't want to tell a depressing story because already that the basis of this country is depressing. I look at it in another different way, in different eyes, but of course not forgetting or not, um, not denying the past. And then that's how Sophie came about. She's not denying, like she is a maid and the headscarf or the duke and the apron will always be there. Sophie um, is a storyteller, Sophie is me. Sophie is the women in my family who were all maids from my great-grandmother up to my mother. And I, feel, I felt the need to celebrate these women. Sophie's playing out their fantasies or their aspirations or what they wanted to be. I decided to actually morph Sophie into this new purple figure that I'm exploring right now. I wanted to let go of Sophie, I wanted to try something new, I wanted to challenge myself, I wanted to move and I, I wanted to grow and I wanted growth in the work and hence these roots like tentacle things that are actually make up the work. My first love was fashion and I want to explore that more and I think um, with this second phase of, of Sophie or what Sophie gave birth to, I want to explore the fabric, I want to see how far can I take it. So it's a space of, she's actually in limbo, she's in the neither know, because um, her dress is made out of all these things that we recognize, but we can't actually say what they are. They look familiar. <laughs>